Hi Gemini, this is your April 3rd through April 9th weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. I'll then do the X. Spread after that, we'll talk about your work, your business, and your finances. And uh, at the end, we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. This first bit is a new love this week. Um, we have uh, the Seven of Cups, classified by the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Sun. We have uh, the Lovers, classified by the Chariot in the potential outcome. We have the Three of Wands with the Wheel of Fortune and uh, the Two of Cups. And we have the Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, Cancer, perhaps even another Gemini, or any Zodiac sign. This is a general reading. Well, Gemini, uh, congratulations. Somebody is madly in love with you. Somebody is bedazzled by you. Somebody, you had somebody at hello, right? And now they're like, wow, <laughs> watching you on uh, their social media and uh, they just uh, keep constantly thinking of you. You live in this, per you live in this person's head rent free, right? Uh, that's what I think is happening here or about to happen. Right? Uh, we start off with the Seven of Cups, classified by the Nine of Pentacles, right? The Seven of Cups, I know it's partially blocked, but there is a person, there is a silhouette of a person who is looking at all those cups, seven of them, right? And uh, this is a card of a multiple choice, but I think in this case, the Seven of Cups, somebody is dreaming about you. Somebody is watching you on social media. This is them sitting in front of a computer screen or in front of their phone, scrolling through your pictures. All right, uh, the Nine of Pentacles clarifying the uh, Seven of Cups, that's you. You're in this reading more than once, by the way. So I think the Nine of Pentacles, uh, the person in the Nine of Pentacles, that's you. That's the way this person sees you. Uh, the Nine of Pentacles is often referred to as the Empress of the Minor Arcana cards. The Nine of Pentacles is a card of somebody who is self-sufficient, independent, somebody who is popular, admired, somebody who is in the center of attention, somebody who is in the spotlight. So in this case, uh, this is this person looking at you and they're like, wow. All right, the sun, the next card over, could be a Leo. It could be a Leo who is doing that. But the sun is the happiest card in the deck. Perhaps that's the way they see you. You're glowing up, you're happy, you've got everything going for you. And uh, they want to share that happiness with you. <laughs> right? Uh, perhaps that's the way they see you with the sun card. Right? You know, this is a card of somebody who feels on top of the world. Or this is how you make them feel. You make them happy. Right? We have you here again. The lovers, the next card over, that's you. Unless you're dealing with another Gemini. But that is your major arcana card, Gemini. Uh, the lovers is also a card of a choice. All right, so I think when this person comes towards you, uh, you will have a choice as to what you want to do with this, right? And besides that, as some of you may already know, the same card could be interpreted multiple ways, even in the same spread. The Lovers is just an amazing card to have overall. It's not only your card, it's not only a choice card, but in my opinion, it's the best card when it comes to the actual love connection between two people. It's a card of a soulmate connection. It's a card of... Um, uh, twin flame connection, if you believe in twin flames, and the lovers could simply be the lover of your life. All right, yeah, perhaps this is this person's perception of you, the lover of your life. And uh, if the two of you were to get to know each other, you may also feel this way about this person. Also, in my opinion, the only other card that comes close to the lovers in terms of how people feel towards one another is the two of cups. And right next to the deck in the potential outcome, the last card I came out is the Two of Cups. This is also a soulmate card. It's a card of unconditional love. It's a card of uh, when two people feel the same way towards one another. Right? So this person is at least your soulmate. That's why they're so attracted to you. One of the reasons, right? <laughs> um, the Chariot clarifying the lover's card could be uh, cancer you're dealing with. But the Chariot is a card of victory and success. Right, so perhaps this person really wants to have a victory. They really want to win you over. And uh, the chariot could also be a card of travel. Perhaps travel is somehow a part of this equation. And uh, besides that, the chariot is actually moving forward and not looking back. All right. In the potential outcome, besides that uh, two of cups that we already talked about, we have the three of wands with the will of fortune. And uh, on the bottom of the deck, we have the four of wands. So we got the three of wands and the four of wands. The three of wands is a card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision to move forward, and after that, there is no turning back. 
right? The Wheel of Fortune is the start of a cycle, since the Wheel of Fortune is in the potential outcome. It's a new cycle on the next level up. The Wheel of Fortune is always good news in my spreads. The Wheel of Fortune could also be a card of travel or relocation, but it's a great card to have. And on the, on the bottom of the deck we have that Four of Wands, right? The Four of Wands is often referred to as the 1111 card. It's one of the commitment to marriage cards. To me, this uh, card always reminds me of an actual wedding. Because in some cultures, when people get married, they do it underneath the structure with the leaves and branches on top of it. I'm sure you heard me say that before, if it's not the first time you're watching me. Uh, but, it, I, you know, it is a card of a commitment to marriage. So, yeah, uh, somebody is head over heels. <laughs> and uh, you'll be hearing from this person this week. And, uh, yeah, I think the two of you definitely have a chance to... Uh, make something out of it. You know, this person is at least your soulmate with the uh, lovers and the two of cups, at least. Probably more, right? Uh, this looks awesome. Gemini, I'm not even going to do an extended for you. They will be, it will be a waste of time. Really happy for you. Congratulations. Gemini, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. Uh, we have the Queen of Cups, the Nine of Wands, uh, the Four of Cups, clarified by the Four of Pentacles, and we have the Six of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So you got this Queen of Cups, and uh, you don't want to do what they want you to do, <laughs> all right? You're rejecting them. I don't know who this person is to you. Could be your boyfriend, your girlfriend, husband, wife, your neighbor, your sibling, um, a friend, uh, or some other family member, right? But uh, I did not even bother clarifying any, anything else besides the Four of Cups. Uh, but uh, what, what it's telling me is that this Queen of Cups is going to show up in your life or they are already in your life and you're, you're like, um, thanks but no thanks. Right? Perhaps they want to go somewhere with you or they want you to uh, you know, accommodate them if they want to come over and stay with you or whatever. You're not, <laughs> you don't want to deal with this person. Most likely it's all, it's all because of your uh, negative experience with this person. Right? Because the Nine of Wands, the next card over, right next to the Queen of Cups, this is a card of a wounded warrior. Right? So you're, you're like, um, you know, no. <laughs> and uh, that's why you're rejecting them. The Four of Cups, the next card over is a card of a rejection. This is you saying no to them. The Four of Pentacles, clarifying that, this is you remaining closed off. Um, the Six of Swords on the bottom of the deck, um, perhaps again this person wants you to go somewhere with them. The Six of Swords could be a card of travel, um, but it could also be you turning you back to this person and, uh, you know, distancing yourself from them. All right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, uh, Gemini, this uh, week. We have uh, the King of Swords, clarified by Death. Uh, we have the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Ace of Cups. Uh, we have uh, the Empress and the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fellow air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. We also have um, Scorpio on the table. So you got this King of Swords coming back to you, Gemini. So it could be an, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. I don't think that's you. Um, I think you are the Empress, Gemini, we all agree with that, right? <laughs> anyway, the King of Swords is classified by Death, so they may have Scorpio in their chart, or it could be a Scorpio embracing the energy of the King of Swords, in this case, it's a very decisive, very honest energy. Perhaps for some of you, uh, this King of Swords went through some kind of a transformation in their life, and they're going to share their story with you, right? They're going to be very honest with you either way, we'll get to that in just a second, but that could be a transformation, right? Perhaps this person went to up, went up into the monastery and now they're back, um, but uh, the death card, again, some kind of a transformation. You, you two can discuss this, but again, I think they will tell you, they will share their story, what just happened to them with the death card, right? Then they, here they come with that Ace of Swords, clarified by the Ace of Cups, one Ace clarified by the other, that doesn't happen that often. The Ace of Swords is the Ace of Truth, the Ace of Clarity. Um, so with the Ace of Swords, they're not going to be beating around the bush. They're not going to be playing or fooling around. They'll tell you straight up everything that happened to them. Again, they will share their story with you, what kind of, what changed in their life in a major way. Um, perhaps they've changed, right? If they were non-committal, they will want to commit. If they uh, resisted their love to you, they're definitely ready to embrace it. Speaking of love, the Ace of Cups, clarifying the Ace of Swords. Yeah, this person loves you and they will definitely... 
make that statement, right? That they, they do love you. I think that you will have a very long conversation. One of the things they'll tell you is that they love you <laughs> with that Ace of Cups. Again, you're the Empress, right? Uh, that's the way they see you, right? Uh, they're, now they're putting you up on a pedestal. They're loving you, cherishing you. They see you as their future uh, significant other. Uh, they perhaps see you as their is the is your is their future mother of children, right? The Empress is a card of a mother figure, wife figure, significant other figure, right? That's the way they see you, right? The Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck is a card of a wish come true. It's also a card of personal satisfaction and fulfillment, and I think you're going to be feeling really good about this, no matter how you decide to proceed, and it's going to be up to you how you want to proceed here. All right. Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Gemini, this week. We have Judgment, uh, we have the Ace of Pentacles, uh, the Fool, and uh, we also have the Star on the bottom of the deck. Um, you could be dealing with an Aries um, or an Aquarius. Um, here's the deal. We have Judgment, the first card I came out. That card could be interpreted a couple of different ways, right? Judgment could be literally somebody making a judgment call. If you've been applying for jobs or if you've been up for a promotion, Right? They're making a judgment call to extend you that job offer or extend you that promotion. Um, it could be somebody coming back from the past. Judgment could be a card of somebody coming back from the past. <laughs> perhaps uh, somebody will offer you your old job back or perhaps somebody you used to work with, they started at another company, at a new company. And that new company has an opening and they thought of you. Okay, so here comes the Ace of Pentacles. It's a golden opportunity. It's the real deal. Something that's going to be around for a while. Something that's got a long-term potential. Right, and I think you'll be uh, able to see it and you're taking it. The full right next to the deck could be an Aries you're dealing with, but I think with the full card you're taking it. You're definitely taking it. Right, uh, the star on the bottom of the deck could be um, <clears throat> an Aquarius you're dealing with, but the star is a card of a wish come true. Right, something you've been wishing for or hoping for for a long time. So essentially, it is a wish come true. It could be a dream job that you always wanted. Or perhaps you always wanted to go back, <laughs> but you were hoping to make more money. <clears throat> or perhaps you always want, wanted to make this much money or something like that. But yeah, it is a golden opportunity. There is zero doubt about that. All right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen, uh, Gemini, this week. We have the Five of Cups, classified by the Five of Swords. Uh, we have uh, the Queen of Pentacles, classified by the Nine of Swords. Then we have uh, the Page of Cups, classified by the Ace of Pentacles. And we have Temperance on the bottom of the deck. Now, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, you got this Queen of Pentacles. Uh, coming back to you, they want to get back into your good graces, they want to reconnect with you, they want to get back together with you, depending on what type of a relationship, what type of affiliation you had with this person. What I can tell you right away is that, again, this is an, uh, this Queen of Pentacles, the third card from the left, uh, they could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, and uh, you are no longer talking to this person, because the two of you got into a major fight. And uh, that fight caused uh, the end of this connection. Um, the, um, the Five of Cups, the first card that came out, is classified by the Five of Swords, right? Two fives. The Five of Cups is a card of regret, grief. Um, the Five of Swords clarifying it is a card of an ugly breakup or a fight. A fight that causes a separation. This is when people slam the door on the way out. And uh, the Queen of Pentacles is clarified by the Nine of Swords. This is them, you know, all stressed out about this. This is them even depressed about this. Temperance on the bottom of the deck could be a Sagittarius. Agent, but Temperance is a card of healing, bearing the hatchet, reestablishing this connection, whatever the nature of this connection is. That's what they want. And uh, here they come with a Page of Cups clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. The Page of Cups, in this case, is a card of an apology, and the Ace of Pentacles, they may even give you something, right? The, the Ace of Pentacles, they could, be literal, they could literally give you something. Or they, it, it'll be like a huge gesture from them uh, letting you know that they're really, really sorry about uh, not having you in their life. Again, whatever the nature of this connection is. It's going to be up to you, Gemini, what you want to do. You know, um, but um, depending on the, if I were you, I would wait and see what that Ace of Pentacles is, <laughs> right? And then make your evaluation <laughs> based on that. 
All right, Gemini. So yeah, that's what I have for you uh, for this uh, reading for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Gemini, have an amazing week.